We're back at Edmonds Waterfront Park on a July summer day, 65 degrees, threatening to drizzle. Welcome to the Seattle area. What are we going to do here, Paul? Well, we're going to uh, explain what a truth functional compound sentence is using conjunction as our example. How's that? Yeah. Okay. So I've written a conjunction here, a sentence that is a compound sentence that asserts a sentence and then it joins that sentence to another sentence with the conjunction operator asserting that both sentences joined together are true. So we define a compound sentence as any sentence that includes two sentences joined together with the assertion that they're both true and nothing more. That would be a conjunction. That's a conjunction. Okay. Now, normally when we form a conjunction, we, we say you know something like Mark is wearing a vest and Mark is wearing a hot pepper shirt. You know, we assert a declarative sentence, we join it by and to another declarative sentence, mm -hmm. and uh, assert that both sentences are true. That's the conjunction. And uh, so this is a compound sentence because it contains within itself one or more sentences and a sentence operator. And this is the sentence over here is the left conjunct. The sentence over here is the right conjunct. And the sentence as a whole is called a conjunction. And so the left conjunct is asserted, the right conjunct is asserted, the word and joins them together to form a compound asserting that both are true and nothing more. Now since we have a train coming, should we take a pause, let the train train go by then we'll start again okay so we're gonna start in five four three two one we're trainless in Seattle again the train has gone by so we're ready to pick up where we left off yes I think so okay so I'll ask you a couple very tricky, difficult questions. Uh, I'm the man for that. All right, we've got a conjunction of That's two right. sentences joined together, asserting they're both true. Yes. That's what makes it a conjunction. Left conjunct, right conjunct. The word and is called a sentence operator because it's uh, the word that joins the sentences to form the compound. So it's called a sentence operator. Since it's forming a conjunction, it's the conjunction operator. Mm -hmm. So I guess I should put that in our chart, the conjunction operator. And now, suppose it's true that Mark is wearing a vest. And it is, right, right now. Okay. And suppose it's true Mark is wearing a hot pepper shirt. It is true, right now. Yes. So if both conjuncts are true, what would the truth value be for the whole sentence, where the truth value of a sentence is true if the sentence is true, the truth value of a sentence is false if the sentence is false. Well, this would be a true statement. As long as both of the conjuncts are true, that is the way and the only way an and statement, a conjunction, would be true. So this is a true statement. Right now, I'm wearing a vest and I'm wearing a pepper shirt. Therefore, the whole thing's true. Yes. Right. The sentence as a whole is true. Very good. You passed <laughs> your first test. I'm that kind of guy. Now, suppose, hypothetically, contrary to fact, that this was false while this was true. Like maybe we cross it out and that was a hat? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Mark is wearing a hat and Mark's wearing a pepper shirt. What would no, the truth right? value be of the whole thing? The, the statement as a whole would be false. Even though part would be true, mm -hmm. part would be false. The only way you're going to make a conjunction true as a whole is if both sides, both conjuncts are true. Yes. So if it would be like me walking up and saying I'm wearing a Scottish kilt right now and I'm wearing a vest. And you go, no, that's not the case. Right. So, so then if both conjuncts were false, the whole thing would be false. That would be like saying Mark's wearing a hat and Mark is wearing a Scottish kilt right now. And I am not wearing neither, so you would say no, I disagree with that mm -hmm. statement. So what we see is that there's a relationship between the truth value of the components and the truth value of the compound as a whole. And that relationship Mark's, Mark actually just stated, the whole is not true unless both comp components are true. Only when both components are true is the whole thing true. And so we call this kind of a sentence a truth functional sentence because the truth value of the whole is a function of the truth value, truth values of the parts. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, your text explains it. A function is simply a rule that relates two sets of values. And so we have a rule or a function that relates the value of the whole to the values of the parts. So it's a function. And since the values being related are truth values, it's called a truth function. And then, and then we can define a truth functional compound sentence as a compound sentence whose truth value is a function of the truth values of its parts. And this is simply an example, then, of a truth functional okay. compound. So I give you one quick test? Okay. A more complicated one, but I'll right. let the students do it, too. I can abbreviate things just a little bit, right. I don't to, so I don't have to write everything. Okay. I can all talk about your clothes here. So Paul is not wearing a shirt, mm -hmm. and Paul is wearing a watch. Mm -hmm. You say that statement as a whole is true or false? Oh, that's a really tough one. So the left conjunct says I'm not wearing a shirt, and the right conjunct says I have a watch on. Right. So the left conjunct is false, because I am wearing a shirt, thank God. On this cold day? Uh, for other reasons. <laughs> so we have a false left conjunct, but a true right conjunct. A conjunction's only true when both conjuncts are true. So that, conjunct, that conjunction would be false. Okay. Did I pass? Flying colors. Thank you. So we have definitions. We, we define a compound sentence as any sentence that has within it one or more simpler sentences and one or more sentence operators. So this is a compound sentence. We define a, a sentence operator as a word or a phrase that joins one or more sentences into a compound. So this is an operator. The whole is a compound. These are the embedded sentences within the compound. And we see that there's a functional relationship between the truth value of the whole and the truth values of the parts specified earlier. Therefore, this is a truth functional compound sentence. So this is just an example of the concept. We hope this helps you get it all straight.